Hello everyone watching on YouTube and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I hope you enjoyed part 200, I didn't. Let's go do this last Queen's Blood match. And then after we're done with that, it's just like, honestly, at this point, main story until the playthrough is over. The, the optional content in FF7 Rebirth has majorly let me down in the past, like, I don't know, 10-ish hours of gameplay. So I'm I'm officially at like I want to finish Queen's Blood and then I just want to like main story it up. I don't think this is where I was supposed to go actually. No, this is going the exact wrong way. Whoopsie. I just want to hard focus the main story and get it done. Bum, 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 bum. All right, you evil ruin Queen's Blood Queen or whatever you are. Do we do we really have to do this? Did you have to put the Queen's Blood thing next to a bunch of weak, annoying enemies that I don't want to deal with? I just want to go do Queen's Blood. Okay. All right, chat. Let's let's get this last game done. I wonder if I have to put the Emerald Witch in my what you call it or not in my deck to win this one. Where is it? Right here. Hello. Oh, it's you again. Oh, Cloud. It's you. Didn't think you'd come. You mind? Would prefer to have this conversation in private. Here it is. The source of everything. All I ever wanted was to be worth something. Queen's blood gave me that. Got people to respect me. Hear me. Until I started fearing for myself, for what I might become. Because I can't keep winning forever, and once I start losing, I'll be worthless. Worse, a nobody. When I found her, I knew that I would never lose again, that I'd been chosen for something greater, that I was blessed. This... this isn't bad at all. It's been speaking to me. Telling me to give myself to her power. To dominate. I've tried not to for so long, but I... Until that witch rally the unwashed and put me to the sword. Well, little puppet, what do you say? A match against your queen. Jokes For on you, you Tifa's my queen. Have a blood debt to pay in full. Straight up Yu-Gi-Oh right now. I summon Stardust Dragon in attack mode. Do I need the emerald whatever for this? I could see this uh, this match having a little gimmick of like, oh, you need to use the emerald queen to like pull this off or whatever. Insectoid Chimera. Yo, I like this music. Hi, Rama. Where, there it is. Raise the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by two while this is in play. And enemy cards? That actually, you. this card actually seems like it sucks. I'm gonna try to play without it and see if that makes me like lose or what. Let's find out. This music goes hard. Oh, you start with a card in play? The Shadow Queen one? Interesting. So this is definitely gonna be some kind of a gimmick. What does it do? Raise power by three for each other enfeebled ally and enemy card. Okay, so it's just an enfeeble gimmick. All right. Okay. Why the violin going so hard? Did you just play Titan for one? That's not how Titan works. 
Why is this violin going so hard? Oh, you just get to play all of the summons for free? That seems a little ridiculous. Behold, my security officer, he's here to help me. Oh yeah, now you're playing Shiva. Isn't Shiva supposed to like take up your other spots or whatever? Isn't that how her gimmick works? This is funny, weakening Rama here. Oh, you have Leviathan as well. Oh, wow, Leviathan is really good. All right, this seems a little annoying, this gimmick. That she can just play all of the highest level cards for free. That's not how a freak takes spots either. So her gimmick is that she just doesn't follow the rules of the game? Is that the gimmick here? Oh, and she has another Leviathan. What the heck? The only thing I can do is play this. What was that, Odin? This is kind of lame. Like, she just gets to play infinite, super high level cards? And she has multiple copies of them all? Yeah, like, what am I, like, supposed to do, even? Chaos, do you think the music of a game can make or break it? No. Not unless it's, like, really bad, annoying music. If she just has infinite summon plays for free, like... How are you supposed to win this? Awful starting hand. I guess what I need to do is like blitz over to her position and take her, whatchamacallit, it's these cards do not work like they're supposed to. Royal Retainer. Why do these cards look like the summons if they're not actually the summon cards? That's so unnecessarily confusing for no reason. I need to, like, take all of her plays. And then win the top and bottom rows, I guess. Which is really messing up my ability to build up to my higher level cards. Okay. Hold up. We like have a chance maybe now. There's no way I'm gonna be able to take this middle row. How am I gonna do this? I'm at 21 and you're at 26. This is definitely how you beat this gimmick nonsense though. Oh, I don't have a playable card, so it doesn't matter. I got bad draw. Dang it. That was really unlucky draw. I needed a griffin or a single play card and I could have brought this back. This is a really annoying gimmick. But that's how you have to do it. You just have to stop her from having any placements. 
So I need like all of my free play cards and then cards that like go far. That was incredibly annoying placement from you. This might already be a loss. I think I have to do this. The fact that her cards also have like default, like five strength and beyond is ridiculous. This might legitimately just be a case of you have to get lucky. I'm really not a fan of the game having the last match or whatever be a, uh, be a case of, like, of, hey, look, they don't play by the rules at all. We just had them make up a bunch of fake cards that are super OP. I really don't like that. She got way better draw this time. I don't think it's possible for me to recover this. Just go ahead. Like, can I immediately restart? I think you legitimately just have to get lucky. I hit start. Go. This is a dumb gimmick. Man, FF7 Rebirth has just, like, really disappointed me in the late game so much. It's so disappointing. Okay, this is good. The death there sucks, but whatever. Fine. Okay. I don't think she has any cards that... I might actually be able to take the center from her, which would be life-changing. I don't think she has any replacement cards because of how her dumb gimmick works. If I can take the center, or if I can just get enough points on the top or bottom, I don't think I'm gonna get them on top. I'd have to get them from the bottom. The placement of this enfeeblement is really annoying. Oh wait, no, I can make this work like this. Okay, please don't draw any cards you can actually play. That's game. Pass. Okay, thank goodness. That was annoying. It might just be that I'm still annoyed at all the Gilgamesh stuff and this actually isn't that bad. I did it in like three tries, but it seems like way more luck dependent than the game normally is. But also it's a card game, so there's always a luck factor. Not my favorite gimmick. <sighs> Impossible. What foul sorcery. Cursed witch! Even in death, you would thwart me! Cloud? You good? What about... She's gone. Oh, she is, is she? <laughs> Be still, little puppet. You belong to me now. Oh. 
Vincent's got a gun? Use the card. Don't you dare! Game over. Behold, Wing Dragon of Raw. Ah! GG Nori. Ah! Cloud really did just pull a Seto Kaiba there. Genius crap go to my head, huh? After a while, losing became my worst nightmare. I'd do anything to win. And look where it got me. You are not to blame for this. Evil like that preys on our deepest, darkest fears and worms its way into our hearts. Few ever break free. You're the best because you worked your ass off. Not because you're a genius. Got it? I'm the best, though. <sighs> well, on that note, I'd better get back to it. After all, there can only be one card queen. <laughs> <laughs> so next time you want to throw down, you best come prepared. Right. <laughs> Later! All's well that ends well, I suppose. Thanks to you. <laughs> Couldn't have you dying on me just yet. I'm so excited to see more Vincent in the next game. I feel like I could end up really liking Vincent. Oh, hey guys, you were just waiting around the corner, huh? I'm the blood champion. Alright. Didn't love the gimmick of that last fight, but it wasn't too bad. It felt way more luck dependent than your average Queen's Blood match, though, which was a little disappointing. But, you know, it was also the big finale, so what are you gonna do? They had to do something special for it, I guess, but that was... Oh, this seemed like a bit much... I feel like they could have just made the queen uh, card really strong without giving her all the extra weird summon gimmick cards. And instead, the gimmick could have been like, hey, she will win the middle row no matter what. You need to give her as few points in the middle as possible while also winning the top and bottom row. Like, it would have been neat if the gimmick was like the Shadow Blood Queen is gonna like end up having like 40 points or something in the center. So you need to get like... 45 points with the top and bottom combined with her using like normal cards instead of using the like super gimmicky like mega five point strength whatever cards anyways we did it so now honestly like main story time i i like it's possible that another side quest or like side thing could come up that I might be interested in doing but like I'm not doing the summon crap with Gilgamesh because apparently you have to be like max level to make it reasonable and I'm not doing the mini game side quest at gold saucer because I don't like the gold saucer mini games so unless something else comes up it's officially main story or bust from here on chat to the end of the game we friggin go You know, now that we're just, like, focusing the main story, assuming nothing else pops up to take my attention, I wonder if I could actually finish the game between this stream and next. I feel like there's only gotta be, like, anywhere from one to three chapters left. I could see the game going to chapter 16 at most, and we're in chapter 13 right now. I feel like the game is gonna end on chapter 14 or 15. 14 is seven times two, just saying. So I think there's a chance. But, uh... Since I'm not messing with the minigame stuff, and since we, like, basically can't do the Gilgamesh stuff... 
it would be pretty neat if I could finish up the main story before... Whatchamacallit. Before I go to PopCon next week. Especially because I'm going to be starting Stellar Blade when I get back from PopCon. So having FF7 Rebirth done, basically for Stellar Blade to take its place when I get back at the end of the month, could be pretty sick. That would actually work out with my schedule pretty well. To the northern continent! <laughs>